Alrighty y'all, welcome back to the channel. So I thought I would show you an addition I have here. I previously made a video about this, my uh, aluminum axe scabbard, because of course you need to carry an axe on you to uh, pound felling wedges. Uh, but I didn't really have anything to carry felling wedges. So I made this. I uh, could have made one out of aluminum, just plasma cut it, and then, you know, bent it over and riveted it, which I probably uh, would have done if I were to redo this, just so, you know, it was matching and all that. But this is what I uh, made in a uh, aluminum felling wedge scabbard or sheath you could call it and this one there's a idea for the relative scale of it pretty decent sized uh, this is a I believe about a six inch or this is probably a five and a half inch wedge here and fits right in there so i designed this to be big enough that i co could hold like two uh, 10 or 12 inch wedges if need be so that's why it's so big so it just swallows up this little wedge quite a bit. But the leather is uh, pretty supple. I'd say a little more than an eighth inch. You can see I bent it over here, riveted it together here. I also riveted it together at the base here. And then, of course, just riveted that belt loop on. So I actually think it looks pretty decent. Uh, this is like the first thing I've made out of leather. So, you know, it's not really perfect. You can see some of these... Uh, rivets are kind of double stamped and i wouldn't say that was done intentionally but i uh, when i was seeding these i got them to the point where they were seated and they looked good but i wasn't sure if they were truly seated all the way so i just went a little bit further and that's where that sort of double uh stamping comes from uh, just because i'd rather have it secure than have it look good and fall out well yeah and there you go my leather felling wedge scabbard so I might even uh, later look into making an aluminum uh, file holder for a chainsaw file, you know, just in case you want to like, uh, you know, touch up your blade in the field in case you hit grass or you hit, or not grass, in case you hit dirt or sand or anything like that. Because uh, full chisel blades can uh, tend to dull a little bit quicker than uh, semi chisel chains. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my video on the aluminum axe scabbard, what its purpose is, and why you need one. God bless, and see you on the next one.